It's an exciting day today. We are out with one of the first manufacturers to go truly gasless in Melbourne's very own Legend Caravans. Now we've got a pair of off-road focused Trackline 16 foot hybrids. One is the ultimate and one is the more entry level. Now I've got John Ford with me, our editor at large. We've got a couple of days around Eildon to get to know the vans and their impressive 48 volt power systems. The Legends are really tough, built in the Australian tradition of off-roaders with an aluminium frame. The logo on the back, I think, says it all. Uh, a high-tech aluminium frame. And it's special because it's Henrob riveted, which means it doesn't have to worry about the, the frame cracking if it's welded, and it handles vibration really well. The frame itself is huck bolted to the chassis, uh, which again, means that vibration over really rough tracks isn't going to be a worry. We've got two versions of the track line here. We've got the ultimate and the standard version. The standard version runs on a four inch chassis and a six inch A-frame, whereas the ultimate's got a truss chassis, which is four inches and a four inch riser, you know, giving eight inches of laminated chassis underneath it. The body, both bodies are the same. Uh, we've got a composite aluminium cladding on the walls, a single sheet of aluminium over the roof, and a honeycomb floor, which is uh, really good for lightness. So the Ultimate is running Cruise Master's ATX airbags, and the standard version has got the XT. Uh, the airbags, obviously, you can raise it when you're going over rough ground or level it out when you're camping. So the standard track line's got a Cruise Master DA35, I like this wind-up jockey wheel. It's well placed, so you're not going to knock your knuckles. Big wide stone guard, uh, a custom toolbox with a lid up the top here for uh, little bits and pieces, a slide out down the bottom. And the ultimate, it's got a DA35 and a different sort of toolbox, a larger toolbox and a bike rack and a full width uh, light up the top. All Trackline caravans come with a slide-out kitchen with a built-in NCE induction cooktop. Now what I really like is they also have a marble-like top which is heat resistance, so when you're cooking you can easily move your pots and pans around. Now the more basic, it's tough to use the word basic with the Trackline with how well I fit it out, comes with a manual Dometic awning, whereas the Ultimate comes with an electric awning. It also comes with an electric step and much darker tinted windows, which are perfect for hot sunny days in our Melbourne summers. Inside the Ultimate is a touch of luxury with real leather on the lounge. Uh, remarkable in a 16 foot van how much room there is. Got a, an ensuite down the back with a separate shower. And up front, a uh, big caravan queen. I like the way they've treated the bedhead with that leather around the uh, sides. The Ultimate also gets a washing machine and a caravan, which is great for Outback because it keeps the dust out when it's running. As John mentioned, the Ultimate has a few extra appliances and features that the standard hybrid doesn't come with, but it's still a great place to be and still feature packed. There is quality Dometic AC, another NCE induction cooktop inside, and a sphere microwave. Now I really like the space. There's a little under two meters of headroom inside but the room around the bed for a 16 footer this is quite special now the power systems these are provided by ecoflow and all are 48 volt this model comes with a standard 2 kilowatt hour battery and 2600 watt inverter meaning the numerous power points throughout the van can be used with ac appliances with ease the ultimate comes with 
almost the most battery system you can fit from EcoFlow. There is a single five kilowatt hour battery with space for a second five kilowatt hour battery and a 3600 watt premium inverter charger, which also has integrated MPPT solar controllers. Now what really stands out for me is the simplicity of this system. As you can see, it is basic in its fit out. And for me, that is fantastic. There's less chance of there being any problems with less wires and less connections. And the quality of the connections impresses also. Now there's a touch panel just in the doorway where you can monitor your usage and you can turn off individual systems. Of course, there's an app for it. And the app is super easy to use, which is great. You can easily see how much solar you're bringing in, how much charge might be coming in from your car or from a smart generator. Plus, you can turn on and off individual channels for things like lights, fridges, air conditioning, and monitor each channel for how much power is being used. It is really user-friendly, and being this easy to install, I'm sure it's gonna be popular with more manufacturers. So John, I've been towing the, um, the lighter of the track lines with one of my favorites, the Isuzu MUX, and you're driving something with a very similar drive line. Yep. What do you think of the BT? Yeah, I like it. Uh, it's probably got a couple of hundred kilos more weight in the back, and the, and the van's probably around about two and a half a uh, ton, 2,500 kilos, I reckon. So it, it handled it really well. You know, I, I, I was impressed, uh, particularly yesterday up that big hill. Uh, where it had heaps of power going out there, didn't, didn't lack for anything. On the highway, it feels really smooth, sitting on 100 k's along the highway, um, very stable, feels, feels like a, you know, you could do a lot of miles in that car. The seating is really good, uh, premium seats, of course, with this model, uh, but plenty of leg room, uh, heaps of adjustment in the seats. Um, we average so far about 18 and a half litres per hundred kilometres, which I think given the conditions that we've been driving, that's been pretty good. All right, John, so we've been towing the track lines around Eildon for the last few days, up on Skyline Drive, obviously around the lake. You know, what are your thoughts on them? Oh, look, it's hard not to be impressed with them really, isn't it? They're just beautifully made. And I like the fact that, you know, at 16 foot, the amount of room that's inside, uh, a couple could easily do a lap of Australia and you know they're rugged enough to take anywhere you want to and get into those tight little spots but yeah I really like them. Mm. Look I'm the same um, you know they are a lot of investment 152 grand for the ultimate 112 for the the hybrid I'm drawn to the ultimate though um, because of that trust chassis and because of that ATX suspension and for what you say it's, it's compact it's small I think you can do a lap in a van and it's only a 16 foot van yet there is the space inside with a split on suite to be comfortable. Yeah, I'm super impressed too.